I know what you're going to say. I finally made it onto the telly. <laughs> you always said I would. I remember you saying, you've got talent there, Andrea. Real star quality. One day you're going to make it and I'm going to be watching you on that small screen. <laughs> you had dreams, didn't you, that I was going to make it onto Corrie or Emma Dale. I mean, you'd accept Hollyoaks at a push, you know, because it was local and that. Because <laughs> you were so excited when I moved to London and went to drama school. A scouser in the big city. She's going to be a star, that one. You know, the next Scylla Black. <laughs> well, it's not quite Scylla worthy and it's not Emma Dale or Corrie. In fact, it's none of that, is it? I'm famous at last, but not in the way we hoped, is it? None of this is in the way we hoped. No, I'm on, I'm on Sky News, getting off a bus, face covered with a mask and a big pair of sunnies. You know, the banging on about us getting off that bus. Too many people. No social distancing. MPs <laughs> banging on and on about the dangers. Almost, it's almost as if they've forgotten that they're the ones that told us to go back to work. And then I go on Facebook, you know, and there's people commenting on there saying how stupid we are. Why aren't we driving? Walking? Maybe because we live in London. Maybe because we can't afford to live in the city centre. I can barely afford to live in zone four, let alone zone one, where I actually work. And no, I can't exactly walk. I mean, what? What, shall I set off? at 4am just so I get to work on time. Oh, and then, and then work a 12 hour shift on sore blistered feet. You can't fucking win. I mean, I go to work. I mean, I have done for the past 12 weeks actually, working with limited protection, watching as the people I care for die, watching as my colleagues get ill. I mean, I only took the job in the care home because I thought it'd be something good to do between acting jobs. I thought it'd be making more of a difference than selling wine over the phone. And yet here I am, being hated on, being slated. Last week I was a hero and this week I'm a gobshite because I can't afford a fucking car or to live in central London. You know, it's bollocks, Grandma. Total bollocks. I'm just not sure any if it's worth it. I always wanted you to see me on the telly make you proud. Well, I finally got on the TV, but you didn't see it and I'm, I'm glad you didn't because one day I'm going to get that role on Corrie or Emma Dale. You know, a true television debut. Except you won't be here to see it, will you?